probably have recall, uh, you guys went and tried, attempted to perform an excellent heist on the uh, Reformation Center, trying to get yourselves so hands on some <clears throat> magical weapons as well as rescue a man by the name of Andre. None of that unfortunately happened as you guys were alerted. The guards were alerted to your presence and an ensuing combat sequence and scuffle occurred wherein our heroes unfortunately lost the fight um, being majorly affected and sort of controlled by very powerful um, magic um, by these two, uh, these, these set of elves that were basically um, able to take you guys down. Um, from there, our um, heroes were essentially knocked out, and they don't really know where they are or where they're going to wake up. However, there is a hero, Baha, who managed to escape with a chest full of magical goodies, and he is now making his way out into the streets of Valaki. And I'm not exactly sure what you were trying to do, Baja, but that's where uh, your part of the uh, adventure was going to occur. So, that is that. Uh, I guess we can get started with you, Baja. Um, I'm going to keep you, I'm going to put you, Baja, on the map of Valaki for now. Uh, because it is up to you what you're doing, so I'm going to put you on the map of Valaki. The Reformation Center is right, so our party is at the Reformation Center. But I'm going to put your little miniature, your little token at the Reformation Center. All right, so, Baha, you managed to escape from the gates of the Reformation Center, sprinting out, carrying this like rather large and hefty box of magical goodies. You exit into the streets of Valaki, immediately ducking into a side alley. Go ahead and roll me a stealth check. I will use that stealth check to figure out what, how you are going to navigate the city now that you believe the guards should be high, on high alert looking for a certain green dragonborn. Okay, great. I, I have I have the thing from- You have inspiration? Time. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> go ahead and use your inspiration. Uh, I do this yeah, shit. I do this shit. I'd rather take that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, with a stealth of 14, you look left and right and you're like, you think to yourself that you do have your cloak left. So, with with quick thinking, you wrap the chest up into your cloak and you kind of bundle it into like like a sack and you kind of sling it over your 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 uh, your back. Go ahead and roll me a strength check to make sure you can carry it and like not look suspicious, like like you know, not like leaning, yeah, but like you know, yeah, just like normal, harder. like normal man, just like carrying around, um, yeah, going home dude. from maybe the store or something. Ah, oh, excellent. Okay. okay, sweet. So you make your way out into the streets of Valaki. Um, you don't, you know, not looking suspicious. You make yourself look casual. You do your best to keep to the side alleys, keep out of sight, keep in the darkness. It is around nine o'clock clock now oh no sorry sorry no nine o'clock in the morning um so there are a lot of people moving out and about in the streets of Valaki. um the rain has not let up actually instead it's actually kind of it kind of calmed down but it hasn't let up you don't hear any thunder but you are moving through the street and fortunately for you with the with the rain and the dark skies and everybody just keeping their head down to, for the rain to get out of their eyes you go pretty much unnoticed where are you headed um to to the to the to the place okay so the thieves go to hideout okay cool yeah. so it takes you because you have to be careful it takes you about 30 minutes to get there where normally you would probably have taken that long you take 30 minutes to get to the thieves go to hideout are you going to go directly to the hidden entrance and try to like talk to them or are you going to do something else like what how are you approaching and, like can can i look around me or what what's that role for yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go um go ahead and look yeah, roll for me a perception check. As you approach the house, you remember that it's the the houses around you are still very very much destroyed. You do see some people working in the rain, um, like trying to repair the damage and stuff. Um but you find the house of um the damaged house where the thieves guild was basically um hidden behind, and you see a couple of burly men um lifting lumber, like nailing in wood and repairing the house. 
you, you, you press your back up against one of the wall. You peek around the corner. With your perception check of 19, you don't recognize any of the men or any of the men. Like, you don't recognize any of the men as part of the Thieves Guild, um, as part of the underground. Um, you don't, however, see any guards around you. And for the moment, it appears like you're in the clear. But there are a couple of, like, construction workers-looking people, you know, lumberjacks and stuff, kind of, like, working around the, the, the front door. Are they near the hidden spot? Um, they're they're working around they're working around the house where the the, the, the trap door. Is. So the trap, if you remember, the trap door is inside the house. And so they're kind of working around the house, repairing it. Um, is there one section where there's not one person working? Yeah. So with with your perception check of nineteen, you find out, um, you find like a rather sort of broken down section of the wall, almost like half destroyed. And you can see that um, there aren't really anybody working there. They seem to be working near the front primarily. Um, if you want, you can try to sneak, like climb over that broken section of wall. I would like to. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna make you roll for that. Um, you're you're a strong guy, and you with with precision, you carefully put the sack over the wall, drop it as gently as you can, and then you scramble over. And now you're um, at the trapdoor entrance. You keep yourself. To the ground, and on the other side of the wall outside, you hear a couple uh, men just talking about, you know, the vampire attacks, um, as well as like, what the hell is gonna happen to Valak? This shit ain't safe anymore. And so they're just kind of discussing themselves among. They're, 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 you get a sen- general sense of tension and fear amongst them as you're kind of like hovering over the trap door to go down. Would you like to go down, or do you want to keep listening to what they have to say, or? I would like to go down. Okay, cool. So then I am going to put you into the other map. Give me a second. All right, so you make your way. Yeah, sorry, you're right there. Um, Go ahead and reload your page. He's not here. Uh, I feel like I'll just, like, scan, like. I think I see it. Okay, yeah, so you should be... Yeah, it's just like a dark hallway down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you enter this down into the, the underground once more. Um, and, you know, it's just like before. There's a dark tunnel with beams um, above you. You can hear the drumming of the rain above. from above. At the moment, you don't hear or see anybody in the hallway, but you suspect that if the thieves are around, they're probably somewhere deeper in the um, in their base. Like what do you want to do? I'll like okay. Go down the hall. Cool. So you go down the hall, and with your memory, yeah, go ahead, Mizu. Sorry. With your memory from last time, you know that there's a secret door there. You take a little bit to fiddle with it, and you you open it. Um, and you enter into a, um, the small room that all of you guys both entered in before. Um, you want to continue. You want to make your presence known. So you want to remain keep remaining stealthy. What is your um, play at the current moment? Um, I would like to close the door behind me. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, shit. Okay. Now it's dark. Um, basically, I would like to lightly tap on the door and just say, only 50% done. <laughs> and that's it. You, the, you tap on the door, um, and f- at, for a moment you don't hear anything, but then you hear a female's voice, um, a voice very familiar to you. Um, you recognize Valentina's voice, the sort of human female rogue that has like r- a rather intense temper, and you can hear her snarl and say, "What? Only fifty percent? We asked for Andre." Um, are you gonna open the door? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, like, Opening yeah. the door, you see Valentina standing there. She has a bandage all over her left arm, and her right arm is clutching a dagger in a reverse grip. And she's <laughs> glaring you with these like burning, <clears throat> like dark brown eyes. And goes, "Where's the goods, Dragonborn?" 
Well, clearly, like I said, 50% done. You just, you know. Yeah, and then you, you drop the sack for the better, bro. Yeah. If you guys don't move from that room. I'm not even going to bother. And as, you, as she, like, keeps an eye from you, she turns to the side and whistles really loudly. <clears throat> um, Yo, can I whistle with her? <laughs> and whistling with her. <laughs> <laughs> she you, and as you watch, a uh, a rather burly man with a really large looking cudgel, like a stick, comes up behind him and goes, "You hear his these big heavy footsteps." He goes, "Valentina." What's his name? He called, and you see, yeah, you see a new man. Um, these like almost like skater boy black hair, kind of like covering oh his my face. God. <laughs> he has this huge stick, and he has this like thick armor that he's wearing. Um. Hmm? And as he looks at you, he eyes you up and down and goes, Get the satchel over to us. I mean, we could slide out the door. I don't really need to do anything at the and moment. And Valentina stars and goes, Shut your mouth, Dragonborn. Back up to the bed. Hmm. I see. I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. Yes, or Andre. I will and... you goods. How do we know that you didn't take some of their weapons? I didn't bother to take it because this shit is fucking locked. And back up to the bed. Well, I mean, like, I already lost, like, you know, like, mainly my whole group. That was not uh, part of the deal. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, but you're part of the deal. It's Andre. Andre's still in there. Back up. I'll kick your ass before I start kicking again. Go ahead and roll me an intimidation check. You're standing your ground. Hey, Decca. <laughs> Yeah, um, Hi, Rebecca. Hi. While you while you do that, we're gonna switch back, um, real quick to the uh, Reformation Center. I think, Decca, if you are on, <clears throat> you should be uh, here. Give me one second, and I will put you on. Sixteen. Nice. Okay. Cool. 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 We'll get to that in a second. So, quick update on you, Decca. Um, Baja has returned to the Thieves Guild, and now he's confronted by two of the thieves, Valentina, and a new burly man with this giant like stick um like a very thick looking like staff um okay cool so first i actually you guys are in the future because baja is technically because you guys are all knocked out um yeah baja is technically still up and going um but i'm gonna need um so, uh, Moonchild, Decca, and Moonchild and Decca, go ahead and click a full uh, a long rest. You guys get your long rest. Ben, I'm going to need you to roll a Constitution saving throw. As unbeknownst to you, the moon has reached its zenith in the sky, <clears> and <throat> you would have rested throughout. Constitution, you said? How many, days, how many days of that time span would you say is the difference uh, between theirs and mine? Okay, yeah, wait. So basically, wait. The, their difference is only just like. Oh, you think this dude, he's like, inspiration now? Basically, basically, like, you're, you're do I right turn and use that to help like, break us in out? In the evening, basically, right? So they, sure. they they were knocked out and basically, like. Yeah, we have to come get it. Yeah, because like, I also need. Yeah, because yeah, I also need to know these hours. I'm not in detail. Yeah, because yeah. of I'm the right. fucking moon, bro. Yeah, so basically, I'm it's nine, but for them, it's in the it's in the evening. It's like seven, eight o'clock. Ben, with your Constitution saving throw of five, you do not get long rest. Um, you do not get a long rest, and Ben, you awaken in a dark chamber. Um, in a, sorry, in a dark room. Now, let me give me one second while I find the... Alright, cool. You have, and you awaken in an area dark, dank, wet, and cold. You find yourself completely deaf. You cannot, as you move around... You feel something weighing on your arms and wrists. And then you look down into your hands, you see that there are manacles strapped across your wrists and this metal gauntlet that like is forcing your hands open. You're unable to move your fingers. You quickly figure out that this must be some sort of special handcuffs for magic users so that they can't cast spells and make arcane symbols. You find yourself, in fact, shirtless and your clothes are ripped and you don't see your cloak you don't see your outfit you don't see anything other than this really gross baggy pair of brown pants 
And you see on the brown pants, just like before, they're like covered in blood. <clears throat> and chains are wrapped around, like chaining you to the wall. These manacles are chaining you to the wall. Your arms and legs are restrained. But the strangest part is that every single time you move, you can't hear your breath, breathing. You can't hear your footsteps. You can't hear the clattering of chains. Or even the sound of your clothes rubbing together. In the darkness, all you can see with your dark vision is yourself and nothing else. And, and in front of you, you see this thick iron door. So that's for you for now. Um, think about how you want to react in a second, and I'm going to go get some. Is, is it too late to use inspiration? <laughs> no, I'm uh, kidding. I'm too kidding. Too you should have said something. Uh, <laughs> I already monologued it. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Um, all right, cool. So, Decca, I'm gonna go to you first, and then because Moonshine's got a little special something. Um, Decca, you awaken. <laughs> special something does not sound good. <laughs> Decca, you awaken in what looks like a prison ward. Um, you can see in front of you, like, ro like another cell, and you see this like very like skinny, like malnourished man, like just laying there, just like. Every single breath, his like his lungs seem to be poking through his chest. You're clearly in a cell. Behind you, there is a very gross, dirt like filthy looking mat on the ground. Like it was like mm. disgusting cot. Um, in front of you are these thick iron bars blocking you, but you can still see through them. Um, and people say our prison system's bad. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, just like just like Ben. Um, fortunately for you, unlike Ben, you are not chained anything but you do you are wearing these gauntlet things that are keeping your hands from like closing or moving um you 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 figure out pretty quickly just like ben that these are probably anti-magic gloves to prevent you from casting spells with your hands I just um, need to find the infinity stones <laughs> yeah but, but basically your hands are like this like they're just stuck <laughs> like this these like metal like bars like holding your hands apart um you can hear the pacing of that's kinky uh, you can hear the pacing and clanking of armor moving back and forth. And you, 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 you can guess with just with your experience as a rogue that guards are probably patrolling the area at the current moment. So okay. I'm going to give you a second to think about how to react and respond. And I'm going to go to Moonshout. <laughs> Moonshout at first, just like Decca, you awaken in a cell room. However, as soon as that happens, a guard approaches you, motions you to the bars, and, and tosses you this sack and goes right over to your head and Lucha, um, just like just like that you, your 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 fingers are also locked away so you can't use any spells fuck okay what's what's yeah, something you gotta use your elbows you gotta use your elbows yeah. or you so, uh, yeah so he throws a sack on the ground goes over to your head i mean now where are you taking me over to your head i mean now Okay. Okay. Do you comply? Well, I asked him uh, where we're going. Yeah, and he just repeats the same question. Oh, same okay. Same I guess. Freaking NPCs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just mean. Okay, this man has a life and a soul. So, as you bend down, you pick it up. Um, you, you, you use your hand, you just, like, scoop the sack, and you put it on your head. The, um, the guard goes, now turn around. Hands behind your head. All right. As you do that, the, you can hear clink, 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 clink. As he like the the um, the keys unlock, and you hear another set of footsteps. As most likely another guard has approached. Um, and just in a second, you hear a as something's being unsheathed. You get a sense it's probably a weapon of some kind. And as that happens, um, you feel these cold metal manacles <laughs> clamp onto your wrists behind your back. Do you want to do anything? You want to try anything? I don't know. <laughs> You don't have you're, you're, anything. So, so, so your hands are like this, like open over your head like this. You could try to tussle. You could try to do something. Otherwise, they're going to clamp these manacles onto your wrist. Are, is he like, is his head like, is his head like close like to mine? Like where he's like putting yeah, on the. Are you guys wearing Mike Tyson <laughs> uh, he's, he's about like, you know, like an arm's length away from you. So he's trying to like put these manacles onto your wrists. Fuck, I don't know, because I don't know where they're going to take me. Fuck, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. 
you're in prison. <laughs> yeah. Well, no shit. <laughs> and from like, what, from what you've seen, Lappy, prison is not probably somewhere you want to be. Yeah, for real, in the U.S., you get a TV, your phone. <laughs> the most privileged U.S. <laughs> um. So, what do you want to do? Fuck, I don't know. The... You could you could comply. You could try to like, like I don't know, hurt him, do something. There's two of them, and both. And it's, and it's just you. You don't have any spells. Yeah, then I'm fucked. So no, I have to comply. There's no way. Okay. Um, you don't move, and you feel these mantles clink clink clamp onto your hand, and you hear what sounds like a chain being wrapped around the mantles, and then you're you find yourself being dragged like like a doll, like a rag doll, just dragged. Bro. And um, give me one second. I'll, I'll just quickly move you to where it is, and. So remember, uh, I need you to use your imagination, but you you do have a sack on your head at the current moment, so you can't you okay. don't see the woman. In the room. All right. But, so, <laughs> all right. Cool. So you find yourself being dragged. You hear <clears throat> one set of doors, <clears throat> another set of doors, and your eyes everything's just pitch black inside this sack. And then you hear a rustling as if like fabric or something is being moved before you're forced and pushed down onto a chair and. Manacles clamp onto your hands and your legs. All right, now we're gonna go to Baja. Oh, you're sick. You ah. electrocution. Right, Lori. Let's Lori. Let's go. You're sick. Like second or third tier level threat. They just said basically. Let's go. Yeah, we'll see. Big we'll buff. see what happens. Yeah, big basically. buff. Big buff. Yeah, Avengers right, level so threat. Baja, with your <laughs> intimidation check of sixteen, you see this 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 um. Um, you see this, the, the big, big, strong-looking fella look at you and go, All right. So. Stay there, then. And he reaches down, grabs the sack, pulls it over. He opens it, and he, he sees this giant chest and goes, Oh, you know, that's impressive. You carried this all the way through town? Yep. I ran, I ran out and no, brought you. it over here. If we had more like you... Maybe Andre might be back here, but we'll talk about that later. And he opens it and he checks. He Wait, how the fuck did he open it? <laughs> the fuck? That shit was no, back. No, he opens party. the sack. He opens the sack. Oh. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Hey, That's stop. what they Charlie, stop. What do you want? Okay, sorry. It's, I, I have another dog. Yeah, I know. You dog sitting. Yeah, I'm dog sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. He opens the sack, he looks at it and goes, and he sees the magical um, arcane lock. He goes, oh, well, so that's going to be a problem. Yeah. But, shouldn't be too big to, too big a deal. Balthazar will figure it out. Come, this way. All right. We'll get the chest open, we'll get your reward. All right, then. Valentina, so... go ahead and find Balthazar. Make sure he's not in a meeting. And uh, you see Valentina run off before, and, and the man kind of like crosses his arms, puts his like the, the staff, like next to him, and kind of crosses his arms like with a staff like this. Mm -hmm. So, how strong are you? I heard you want to fight against a small little girl. We, <laughs> would, we had to win a fight against a small little girl. I think about our scenario for things in threats, <laughs> but I think I'm pretty strong. But right now, I'm pretty tired. You know? I never was new, ain't it? Not. It's called a smart play for now. I mean, you're I mean they Dragonborn. Did... Yeah, you're but the... they did also make us fight, not fully healed, wounded and tired. Um, I'm still and I'm in and I'm exhausted. I went for this heist completely tired. Then you could have taken me. I mean, if I'm fully rested, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna look him up and down. I'm gonna look him up and down. You, you, you look him up and down, and you can see that he's muscular for sure. <laughs> um, you can, uh, you, you can see that, like, he's definitely, like, thickly built. He's only about, like, 5'10", though, so he's obviously not as tall as yeah. you, but the way that he's holding the, 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 the cudgel, he's, like, just seems, like, too casual to not be, like, mm -hmm. confident in it. Yeah. Um, but, you, you know, you get a sense that he's, he's strong. He might not be as strong as you, but he's definitely strong. Yeah. He could yeah. definitely take on the rest of your group, for sure. You get a sense. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Can I ask him a question though? Yeah, you can. You can ask him a question. 
because because it seems like he's a talkative guy. Might as well know. He seems pretty friendly. Yeah, you know, is he a, a new? Shot, yeah, give it a shot. Is he a new? So you like a newbie now towards them? Like, what's happening? Or is this like a no. treaty? I've been here for a while. You've been here for Couple a while. Years. No. I do good work. I help people in Velaki. You got some gold on the side. Better than working for the guards, at least. Okay. So all right, happen? come on. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Yo, no, you can talk, walk, and talk. All right, okay, okay. Come on, let's you. go. So he starts walking. Um, you uh, can go ahead, you can move. So, yeah, yeah go ahead, just just ask questions. Uh, yeah, we can do a little bit of role play before we go back to the group. Yeah. Before we go so back so to the You said you were here for like a couple of years, but like, um, I didn't I really know. I didn't really see you when everything was going down. Um, Where I were you? I another job. Oh, uh, there's more than one job? Oh, please. The fees are not stupid. Okay, you know, <laughs> don't really know much about these fees, as much as I do, that's it. Right, oh, he opens open. this door? Oh, I remember this door. <laughs> yeah, you watch as he goes, and he's going to open that door. Yeah, I remember what? this. This is where Ben flew out. <laughs> yeah, that's where Ben flew. He, he opens this door, um, and you watch as he unlocks this door as well. Right here. The, uh, sorry, the, the gates. Unlocks the gates. And beyond the gates, you see what looks like almost like a little storage area with a ton of chests and like sacks of you don't know what, but it look, the sacks look full. So it looks like it's a storage area. He opens another hidden door, and you guys Damn. walk through, and you find yourself into another storage area. Um, and this time, there's a very obvious door in front of him. He unlocks that. And as you guys pass through, it looks like you're face to face with another, most likely a hidden door, because it just looks like a straight wall. He fiddles with it for a moment and goes, oh, you mind turning around? You know what? You know what? I fuck with you. Sure. Sure. I'm I'm going to do like a light glance. Is that possible? Right. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me a, um. I don't know what that is. Uh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Okay. We'll say, we'll say it's, it'll be like sleight of hand. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, so while you do that, we're going to go back to the group. We'll start off with you, Ben. Um, Ooh. 15. All right. Cool. 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 Nice. All right, Ben. You're in this room. It's dark. You're on a cot, and the like. There's. You, what do you want to do? Uh, if you want, I can. You know, make you can make like an investigation check to look around. Perception. <clears throat> if, if you want, it's up to you. Um. Yeah, I want to see if there's a way to. If the any of the if the chains on the walls or something look weak, something I can break off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So go ahead and roll investigation for me. Quiet pumpkin cake. Oh, oh, I get it now. Oh, you want to do like that magic trick shit? Like put the chains together and then pop? <laughs> uh, well, all right, cool. Pumpkin, hey, give me one second. Pumpkin six. Ooh, not a, not a natural, but it is a 20. But it's but a, it's a 20. 20. That's pretty good. That is a 20. All right, so with a 20, Ben, you start like running your like, like rigid hands along the walls, looking along the chains. You get a sense that um, the chains themselves were recently put in. Like, they look like the, the holes in the walls where they're dug in look really fresh. Um, and you get a sense that, like, they were probably just put in for you. So whatever happened when you went to bed and woke up again okay. was something they didn't want to happen. Like, the, the holes in the walls are very fresh and new. And, and you have a feeling that if you work on it long enough or even hard enough, you might be able to, like, yank, like, the chains. You won't be able to get the chains off you, but you yank them out of the walls. You get a pretty good sense that you could probably yank it out of the wall. <laughs> In terms of the door, though, you don't... It looks hella Damn, sturdy. Right, I'm gonna... right? Damn, the door's getting sturdy. Yeah, you... The, the, you s sorry? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're, like, sidetracked, dude. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Let me continue. So, um, as for the door themselves... It's made of heavy iron, and you can tell that there's no handle. It's on the inside. So it's clearly locked on the outside. Um, but you do see a slit near the bottom of the door that's about, like, a two-inch flap. And as you, like, kind of, like, reach forward to try to, like, look at it, like, the, you pull at the chains a little bit, and they stop you. But you get a sense that's probably where they slide, up, like, plates of food or something into this uh, chamber, into this room. So at least you're fed. But so far, you haven't been fed. 
Yo, they got you a new crib and everything, man. You heard that? New. New. Just ben, for ben you, baby. Ben is in, like, baby. a 5 by 5 Yo, square room, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, that's five stars. What do you mean? You just said new, bro. He's Yo, in he a 5 by 5 room. Yo, he <laughs> said, bro. Yeah, he said. Yo, 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 his toilet, bro, is that pit right there. That little hole right there in the corner, that's his pit hole, like, right there. Don't uh, bite, don't there, there, is no, there is no bucket. I'm pretty sure there's no bucket in the room. There's no bucket. bucket it's just a piss corner. corner. Come on, you got the piss oh, corner. Oh, well, no, no, there is. There, it looks like a, I'm sorry, my bad. I was going like to ask what wet, that was. Like, a wet, like, yeah. So what that is, it looks like like a wet, like, <laughs> like a floor mat. Yo, piss and on the floor it, mat, it, bro. It's, it's it smells like <laughs> piss and shit. Like, Damn, bro, they call you a dog. I'm not using like, that. <laughs> Damn, yeah. they really put you in your place as a dog, too. That's and, and, crazy. And, and, the, and the mat you're sitting on is, like, <laughs> disgusting. It's worse than deck guys. It smells of filth and trash. And then you can also see blood stains all over it. So, all right, so they only give you accessories. They only give you <laughs> accessories. <laughs> not, not an ice crib, bro. They give you, like, a one-star crib with a five-star accessory. Right, so, Ben, that's it's... for you. I'm going to give you a decision, like, what you want to do with that, and then I'll switch to the others. Hmm. How how long how big is the chains apart from each other? Like is it like uh, so, I can't so move longer than this? Okay. Yeah, they're about a foot apart like, from each other. You can't really like they, go that far. Are they handcuffs or? They can use them enough no, no, for the walk. So it's like manacles oh, on the leg one. Yeah, manacles on the wrist. There's a chain in the middle, and then he's wearing these like you got all of you that are um in prison except for Ba are wearing these like gauntlets that. that are keeping your fingers like spread open, so you can't do <laughs> magical symbols, you know. Yeah. So like, there are like these gloves that are. I don't have any more spells anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're like a level two threat, bro. You're like a level two threat. Lori's higher than you, bro. That's crazy. Bro. I would hope bro. so. She has a lot more magic than I. <laughs> Yo, Lori, Lori, do toe magic. Do toe magic. Catch them <laughs> off guard like that, bro. With your pinky, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Just start doing it. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yo, catch the whole place. I guess I'm just gonna try. I'll, I'll, I'll try and pull the the chains out of the the wall. Yeah, go ahead and make me a athletics check. And then while you do that, we're gonna switch to Deca. Deca, currently right now, you what you can see is across from you is a very like thin, malnourished man chained to the wall, just groaning. Um, and other than that, you you can hear someone to your left and your right. You can hear people to your left and right. So you know you get a sense that they are. Um, you did. Uh, you just, no, I didn't, um, I didn't think it through. The cell to the north, you can hear some. Somewhat yeah, sounds like muttering. It sounds like. It's an open. No, no, I have to do this. I'm the way home. No, you do. And it's like very muted. Like hmm. you could try to listen in to see what he's uh, that person's saying, mm -hmm. but it's like mumbling. It's like almost some... insane ranting. Uh, I think I'm all right. Um, you said my mattress is a bit cleaner than Ben's. Yeah, your mattress is a bit cleaner than Ben. Uh, it still smells pretty bad. But there's you don't see blood. There's no like wet stain. Wait it. a minute. It sounds like it's been old. Oh. Where's Irene? <laughs> I just thought Man. of that right now. Yo, you right. I <laughs> totally and forgot if, about like, Ben or Moon can hear Yo, me. Yo, where's your screen Go time? Ahead. All right. So um, as as you shout Ben and Moonchild's name, She's calling you. you. She's gonna become one of the guards. Right you hear a shuffle. You hear. Hey, you two. I fuck with this. Quiet. 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 I would, the right. you, you, hear, you hear um, a rapid set of like footsteps running as a guard comes up to you he's holding onto his spear and he goes bling, 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 hits the hits the wall or hits the uh, hey boy the... oh you're not ben or moon <laughs> ben or moon you mean you talk about the teeth and the <laughs> yeah those are my homies do you know where they're at quiet uh so the man looks left and right. You see him looking left and right and goes, Fuck. You didn't hear it from me. And you, you see you see that he is a... Oh, wait. <laughs> He's, that's the wrong focus. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, sorry. You see that he's an older, middle-aged kind of man. Um, he has a crossbow in back, and he has, does have a spear in his uh, other hand. Um, and he looks left and right, and he... You get a quick sense that he's he's not as like gung ho as the other guards. You can you get a brief sense of that. He looks left and right and goes, <clears throat> "Look, 
I'm, so, I'm really sorry about what happened, but it's best if you just give up on your friends. They, well, the half-elf, well, he's a lost cause, and well, the tiefling girl, you don't want to know what they're doing to her. <laughs> Yo, did they get like level well, one? Threat? You seem like a pretty cool guy, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not too worried about him. Um, <laughs> I take it you don't like your job here, though. And you, you, uh, go ahead and roll me insight, so I can mm -hmm. uh, just to see how much I can give you. But just mm -hmm. without a roll, you can tell that he's. It's just a job to him, and you know, at the very surface level, it's just a job to him, right? Right, right. But go ahead and roll me insights if you can try to figure out more. Bro, what the fuck did I do? Why do I get the death sentence? Please, Mr. Magic, you're not getting the death sentence. You're getting your mind. Literally, right, you're you're gonna become a slave to them. You're gonna start working in hard in magic. You're gonna be like yeah. Abracadabra, bitch. Abracadabra. Fuck no. No, it's a video Kadib. With an insight of five. Yeah, he just you know, he, he just gives off a vibe in the of fridge? a guy who just works there. You know, he's like, it's not like his passion. You're gonna give me Maybe the it's sentence. just it's money. No, you know, you can't really tell anything else. His face is kind of in a little bit of darkness at the moment. Um, he just seems okay. like a he seems more chill than the other gung ho guard. And he goes, well, you know, it puts food on the table. Understandable is uh. Not very good pay, or is it like, what, better than anything else? Or? Oh my god, fucking Dick. Well, Dick over here trying to find a job, yeah. part time job. And you, you, yeah, you see him casually leaning against the bar and as he's talking, you're like, well, I'm be honest with you, young man. Your benefits are good. Benefits? Well, your pay, of course, is pretty decent, but. Your 401k. You get exempt from all of the, you know, you know. Right, right. Uh, and your family, well, it's easier. They, uh, you know, they get second chances. Hmm. Others, and he looks over to the man that's super malnourished. Others don't get second chances. Charlie, give me one second. I see. I love Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, Charlie just needs love. Charlie the unicorn? Yo, yo, Lori, is that a is that a Mike's lemonade that you were drinking? Oh no, it was a Jack Daniels watermelon. Are they good? I don't know. I I feel like the Jack Daniels like um, drink is just ass. I don't know. I I, I don't think they're better than a Truly, but not. I think they're on the same level. But it tastes better than a white claw. Truly or truly the I best. Hate, I hate white claws and I hate truly I for a burning passion. Oh Truly's are the best seltzer, hands down. Mm -hmm. They have oh, like a hundred different flavors. Yep. I don't like any of the seltzers. There I'm is a there. Jack Daniels it. Coke. So if you want a more bland seltzer, try Happy Death. No, bro. Like you're you're like. If you want to ever do like a fucking rating towards me of like trying like fucking hard seltzers, I will literally be biased. I will literally keep on saying one or two. You will have to look far and deep for me to actually give something a nine, not even a fucking four. Ever. <laughs> <clears throat> Trust me, you'll we'll be um, looking real hard and deep after you've had a few. So as you're talking to I the man, <laughs> he go he he looks at you and goes, "Your name's Deco, right, son?" Damn. That'll be correct, sir. They know your government name. Look. Valaki isn't known for apologies. But maybe if you provide a service, expertise, something, maybe they'll, they'll lighten your sentence. But they're offering him a job. Oh, do you know what my sentence is? Well, I'm not supposed to tell you that. He kind of looks away like... Well, I am a man of my word. Uh, I may be a thief, but that's uh, that just means I'm good at keeping my mouth shut. He looks at you and go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. All right, cool. You give him the puppy eyes. Give him <laughs> the puppy eyes too. Moonshot. <laughs> as you, as the as, as you're sitting there, you hear heels flip, flip, flip plopping over to you, and in a swift motion, somebody pulls 
the hood or the, the sack off of your head. And it's a quick, brief moment as like this light kind of hits your eyes, and you find yourself in a room where darkness clings at the corners. It's very heavy, like a curse. Thick black curtains separate and surround this space and change the walls, making the room look like unstable. You can spot what looks like a painting directly in front of you and a woman standing next to the painting. The painting itself is of a figure depicting this man in a demonic form on a flaming undead horse. The figure and the face of the man is smiling fully, and in his right hand, he clutches the corpse of a mutilated child. While oh. around him in the picture, humans are fleeing in terror. His smile, you can see that there are fangs in his, on his face. Next to the um, picture is the elven woman that had caused you guys so much trouble. She is heavily bandaged um, on one side, um, and as she kind of walks with you, you can see that she's walking with a limp. Um, you can def you definitely can tell that she's been injured pretty bad with your fight. <laughs> and she looks at you and she says, My child, you know who that man is. And she points to the painting. I'm gonna guess that that's the devil himself. Mm. Yes. The devil. And so I asked you this. <coughs> Moon jump. Why would you actively do something to hurt the city of Berlaki and allow the thoughts of the devil to enter people's mind? Like, this is a Google slide for everything. This was nothing personal. Oh, no, it's just a painting. It's not a Google slide. Uh, no, I was like, <laughs> A Google slide. <laughs> like, like, makes it, they just fucking turn her chair real quick. <laughs> For example, like reasons why you shouldn't follow the devil. <laughs> <laughs> reasons why you should not be chasing him. Reasons that you are <laughs> upset. Reasons, reasons why you're here. Um. So yeah. Sorry. Just go ahead and move try to answer. This wasn't anything personal against, you know, <clears throat> the lack. We just needed items to. Be able to go against this devil that you all talk about. You see her pacing around and she's limping. She goes, Then who sent you here? Well, why are they calling him the beast? The, the muffin man? <laughs> <laughs> Bosh, <shut the> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start singing. Um. What do I get in telling you this information? Damn. Good stuff. Well, a lighter sentence for one. You know. The punishment of those who kill gods in Valaki. No. You for when I I was the one that killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And I'm sure that your half elven friend did too. And perhaps that small little elven child. Mm, so it's kind of blurry. Is death. Damn. So information for a stay of execution. Or, I can watch your head rolling in, into a bucket, separated from your body with a guillotine. Hmm. Very descriptive. Mm. I should hope so. Huh. Well. It was a thieves' guild. Interesting. And where are they located? Didn't I already tell her this uh, last game? Or last session? Uh, I, thought, I thought you did. You did, but... She's she, she, got, she got dementia, bro. She got dementia. She got them Alzheimer's. That would be funny. That would be funny. 
Okay. Do you, do you want to tell her? Like, just tell her again, or, or do you want to tell her something different? I have a feeling I think I told her wrong, but I can't remember. Also, my ear's burning. Someone's talking about me. Um, <laughs> I thought sneezing you knew somebody was talking to. No, when your ear's burning, it means somebody's talking about you. Like, it's, it's like burning. Like, touch it. Touch my ear. I usually... I was I was sad like if you just keep it's it hot right it's right? right it's burning. Yeah, um, they speak hella shit about you. They, they speak I know. Yeah, they about that shit about you. Yeah, yeah. Got I that know. Diss track. <laughs> You're like, hey, which is a bitch. Like, but, so, all right, all right, let's, let's get back to the real flex. So okay, are you going to tell her uh, what you know? I mean, or? I already told her once, so I mean, she already knows. We told some, her brother. Oh, did I? T- well, I mean, the brother's gonna tell yeah, her. her well, Pretty sure I, it was a brother. She, so I, I just want you. To, so basically, just answer the question. Like, what? What are you telling her? 